Welcome to IQ Fit Life. I'm your host, Kevin. Thank you for joining us. I had uh, some questions posed to me on YouTube about Aikido that I'm going to try to answer today. And the first one was relative speed in Aikido. Like, how do you make the whole body move faster than the opponent attacks? I want to talk about that. The whole body doesn't necessarily move faster than the opponent attacks. It happens at the same time. Um, Aikido is the relationship of motion, like the, the relationship of movement and of motion. It's not a one-two technique that does it. Aikido is not the techniques used in Aikido. Aikido is the relationship of balance and of movement. So I'm going to try to address that today in this video and I hope that it makes sense to you. How do I move uh, so that somebody, so that we're not just wrestling over arm techniques? Uh, for example, if he grabs me, what keeps me from just moving, right? What keeps, how does he do the technique if I can just move my wrist? Or if he can just pull his arm back? Like, so if I grab him, he can just pull it back. Which is a common misconception about Aikido. Aikido, I'm not wrestling over the little hand maneuvers. I am pulling his whole body off balance by my position. Once his body is off balance, then I'm pretty free to do what I want with his arm. As he, uh, let's, let's use a hand grab, right? Let's say he's grabbing my hand. If I don't move, I can't really move him. Don't let me move you, right? Hold on tight, don't let me do anything. So it would be very difficult for me to take his arm, I can't really push into him, and it might be hard for me to lift my arm up in place statically. However, when we're here, if all of a sudden I move this way, he starts to kind of fall off balance, which lets me move his arm. Because he's falling, he's, he's, it happens very quickly, but he's in a state of falling. So as he grabs, and I move this way, all of a sudden, I'm moving toward the weak part of his arm while he's off balance. It's not that we're just wrestling over hand grabs and, and fighting right here. <laughs> uh, as he grabs, I'm not wrestling where he's strong. Because if I don't move, he's going to pull me and punch me with the other hand, most likely. So as soon as he grabs me, let's say we're using a hand grab, as soon as he grabs, I need to move somewhere and take his balance. So that I have control of his body and we're not wrestling over the hand grabs. To move the body into position for Aikido, I'm not reading I'm not moving after he punches. So if he's going to punch me before he punches me, it doesn't matter what side I move to. So as he starts to move forward to me, as he tries to punch, I can move offline. And it doesn't matter if I move that way, or this way, or if I move back, or if I move back in that direction. It doesn't matter. So. Sometimes people think that if he's punching me with the right hand, I have to move to this side in order to do this technique. That's not the case. I can move to either side, and there's a technique there. My hands, uh, my wheel that I've mentioned, uh, protects me, clears the space, in case my feet don't move quickly enough. So if he punches with this hand, if he punches with this hand, it doesn't matter. I can just move to one direction or the other. So he's going to punch, I don't know which hand he's going to punch with, and I'm going this way. This time he's going to punch with that hand, and I'm still going this way. I'm out of the way. When I'm moving, the way that I move my whole body as one unit, 
is I move my hands and my feet simultaneously, which moves my whole body. So if, uh, just put your hand up and leave it there. So if he's punching, when I move my hand, I also move my foot. So as my foot moves, my body moves. So when I'm moving the front hand, the foot moves. When I'm moving the second hand, my other foot moves. So that by the time my movement is finished, all of me is over here. Or all of me is that way, or all of me is that way, or all of me is behind me on this side. But the point is that my body is not hard to move. I have to train myself to move that way. But each piece of me, my hand, doesn't move very far. My hand doesn't have to move very far. My foot, if we're looking at this line here, doesn't move very far. My other foot doesn't move very far. But all of it, working together incrementally, creates a big result. So if he's punching me here, I'm moving offline, which creates all this space for me. But no part of my body moved very big but it creates a large result. So as he's punching, I'm moving and I'm controlling his balance with the angle that I'm standing. So if I go the other way, I'm drawing him out with the angle that I'm standing. And I'm moving out of the other hand. Stand right on the line. So if I'm stepping this way, this hand is not very likely to hit me because I'm moving. So as you punch, <clears throat> right? So when he is punching and I'm moving, I don't have to know where he's going. I do know that he is punching somewhere at me, wherever I am at the beginning. He doesn't know which direction I'm going. He doesn't know if I'm moving backwards or moving forward. And I don't have to predict that and I don't have to tell him. So as he punches, I can go to the side, I can draw back or I can go to the other side. As he punches, I just need to move at my dominant angle and I have missed, I've been missed, you know? So he punches and I move out of the way at the dominant angle. And then I can do different techniques. He's punching. I can take him down by my angle. Not because my hands are doing so much or moving so fast. I have his balance. I have my angle. And I can put him on the ground. Let's talk about the wheel for a moment. The wheel stays very narrow and comes up to the inside of my shoulder. So this is not a far movement. It's not a big, it's not a big around me movement this way. So as he's punching, if he just holds his arm out here, um, as this comes up, it just brings it to my side. It just brings it out of the way, right? If, if he's punching, I'm just bringing it so that he misses me. I don't have to move very far. I'm just moving it enough that it doesn't hit me. My second hand is coming up. General rule is if one hand is up, the other hand is down. Same thing, if it's back, it's out, if it's up, and it rotates like a wheel. So as he moves toward me, one hand comes up and the other hand comes up too, right? So as he punches, I'm one, bringing it here, which is ready for his other hand as I step. So as this one hand moves, this foot moves, then this second hand moves as his moves. So I just go back and forth if I need to, or I can just keep going past him. And it can be sloppy. <laughs> My moves need to be pretty crisp, but it doesn't really matter where they hit on him. They're just creating a wall between us and getting me out of the way. So as he moves, I'm moving. Another thing is hip rotation, when we move our whole body. Our body is moved by our legs, and it generates the power for a lot of the Aikido. 
a difference between classroom, big, pretty, drawn out Aikido and full speed practical application Aikido is if he's moving in real slow, I have lots of time to take on and to turn around and throw him down. And I have plenty of room to take this big step and cover a great deal of distance. But what's important is this hip rotation because that's going to move him really hard. So as he punches, Instead of taking this big ten con, even if I do it quickly, instead of taking that big ten con, what I can do to move my body with relative speed is, hold on, is I can step and get my whole body out of the way and just face this direction, then turn almost in place, taking just a small step, which is not a ten con, but it's the same relative movement with my body. So as he punches, and it generates a lot of force. So when he punches, I'm taking a step, getting out of his way, turning my hips, opening this, throwing him down without me having to cover much horizontal distance. Because as he's punching me, he's coming toward me so that his strike is really coming in. So even by just taking a little step, he passes me. So when I move, this is actually behind him when I throw it forward. So just a small step here, and it throws him down. Right, so let's say he's punching me. I'm blending with his movement. I am not just pushing his arm out of the way. I'm not blocking him. I'm not blocking him to shut it down so that I can come in and hit him. There is a place for that. There is a place for, uh, if he's punching me, I can just move his hand and hit him. But that's not what I'm doing. That's not Aikido. Um, stand at an angle. And what I mean, like, if I want to stand in front of him and hit him, that's different. Then I can just knock his arms out of the way and come in and hit him. Aikido doesn't do that. Aikido doesn't stay in front. If he's moving, I'm moving out of the way so that I can break down his balance. So I'd like to talk for a moment about blending. Aikido is the way of harmony of energy. It is blending. So when he's punching, if he's extending this hand, I am coming up along the same line but steering him off of that line. So I'm not shutting him down and I'm not pushing it out of the way. I'm coming up along that line or I'm cutting down along that line. But I'm moving in such a way that I blend. So I'm steering him off into a place where he's unbalanced with my body position. And it seems fast. I don't move until he moves. Not his arms, so much as his distance from me. As he moves, I want to blend so that I'm not throwing him away from me. So that I have control of his body and balance. So that I'm blending and I have control of his body and his balance. Right? So he's coming in and I'm coming up. And then I have control of his appendages which are connected to his body. Thank you for watching this video today. Thank you Kyle for coming out. Hey, you're welcome. When you're looking at Aikido as a martial art, I think that Aikido is not a martial art that you can learn by watching a video. Aikido, there is so much unbalancing and technicality of it that it's not really something, it's not as clean and simple as just punching. You can learn how to strike something by watching a video. But Aikido, it is so intricate and you have to feel how it unbalances and how it works in order to learn it. I think that if you're already familiar with Aikido, 
these videos can really help you. But if you are a stranger to Aikido, I think that these videos may seem mysterious still. <laughs> uh, I encourage you to go to a good Aikido school and check it out. And you may come to this school if you like. Uh, look up aikifitlife.com uh, or you know, subscribe to us on YouTube here, follow me on Instagram. And I hope this helps you. Have a nice day.